What is going on guys, Bisectatron here bringing you today's video and we are talking about how to defend this new lightning spell that's tearing up bases and it might be tearing up your own base if you're putting some of these two uh, buildings cl too close together. The clan castle, the eagle if you have one, your inferno towers, your queen, your air sweepers. Guys, now in the base building meta, you gotta spread this stuff out. So we're gonna be hitting that as a, as a major point in this video and taking a look at some other ways you can defend against the lightning spell and a lot of the attack strategies such as dragons and lalo that start off with the lightning spell because it's very strong right now, mainly because people are making a lot of mistakes when building their base. So it's gonna be a quick video giving you guys a few tips you can use in your next base build to avoid having to worry about the lightning spell. Because really, if you build your base correctly, the lightning spell won't get any value and that, those attacks won't work on your base. So first and foremost, these buildings you gotta keep spread out. Um, I would not keep any of these buildings near uh, each other. And two things I would add that I don't have on this account, if you're a Town Hall 13, Royal Champion and Scattershot should also be kept away um, all those buildings should be away from each other. There should be no groups of, of two or more of these. So the main thing is people are taking out the Eagle and the CC. They should at least be um, that far away where you could fit, um, actually about that far away, where you can fit uh, three tiles between them. So the CC and the Eagle have to at least be that far apart. And um, I would say the same thing would go for any of these other buildings, such as the Air Sweeper, even the Inferno Tower people can, can take advantage of. And also, the air defense, um, you don't want to pair that up with any of these either because most attacks use Dragons or Lalo and they want to take advantage of your uh, base not being able to defend against air after the lightning spells are used. And we'll talk more about that in just a moment. Now the queen's a little different. She has to stay even farther away because she wanders around. So I would say ideally you're gonna have probably this amount of space, which is four tiles, meaning you can fit, um, I'd say, I think it's an army camp uh, between the queen and any of these other buildings. Um, but even more, you know, the more the merrier. You know, the queen is really what people like to drop uh, lightning spells on. Uh, that CC and eagle are the biggest ones. But also we're seeing people use like two lightning spells to take out your air defenses, take out your air sweepers even, and doing that multiple times across your base. Um, a few other tips before we get into that specifically. If you're a Town Hall 12 or Town Hall 13, it can help to sometimes put these buildings right next to your Town Hall. You can see the air sweeper is touching the Town Hall. And what that's going to do is if people lightning it, they may activate your town hall, which is something that most of the time they're not going to want to do because it will light up right away and it can target troops as soon as they get within range. Um, whereas oftentimes the attacker would prefer the town hall not to activate until let's say dragons start attacking it if it's early in the attack and it hasn't hit 50% yet. Um, so that can be done with some buildings. You don't want to put an eagle or the um, Inferno Tower touching your Town Hall, but you can do that with perhaps the Clan Castle, an Air Defense, even your Defensive Queen, um, because people are not gonna be able to Lightning down your Town Hall, it has too many hit points, unless they're gonna use like all their spells, which I'm not even sure if that would do it. Maybe an interesting video um, to look at. And actually, I don't know if it does damage to the Town Hall, because it might be a storage, technically. Good question for the comments. Let me know if, the, if you think the Lightning Spell will damage the Town Hall. I actually haven't even tried that. Um, but either way, I'd recommend putting the Town Hall next to uh, some of these buildings, situationally. Also, of course, um, because we're talking about this being paired with Dragons or Lalo, I would say put most of your Expos on air slash ground as opposed to just ground. You might have one Expo if you're like a Town Hall 12 or 13 and you have um, all four of these Expos, or I think maybe even no, I think it's uh, 12 and 13. Maybe Town Hall 11 too has a fourth expo. Actually, yeah, I think Town Hall 11 does as well. Um, it does, but um, if you're one of those Town Hall levels, you can maybe have one on ground, but for tens and below, definitely keep them all pointed up. Uh, you need that extra damage on your base for sure. Let's switch gears because we've talked mainly about defending the seven lightning spell plus earthquake that's been crushing 
um, the clan castle, the eagle, the defensive queen. But people are even sneakier, especially at lower town hall levels, town hall 9, town hall 10, even town hall 11, and all the way up really, but the, town, the lower town hall levels especially. People are using just two lightning spells to take out your air defenses. And you might think, well, what can you even do to defend that? Well, it all comes down to where you put your air defenses and where you put a lot of your other buildings on your base. This is a good example of a base that is not fully built, obviously, but has the structure that would be difficult to do this on. You want to put your air defenses very close to the outside of the base, which is counterintuitive, but when you think about it a little bit longer, um, by putting an air defense closer to the middle, all you're doing is really allowing the attacker to take out a building that's more central and carve out better pathing in your base potentially. For example, if the air defense swaps with the expo here and someone takes it out, well maybe they can sue the queen take out these three buildings, then with the addition of that air defense also being gone, they've successfully cleared a full compartment and um, carved out good pathing, let's say if the dragons are going to come uh, through the base like this, they've done a good job taking out a central building in your base, which you want to avoid. Um, pathing is very important for attacks, and if you can make it difficult um, to have narrow pathing through your base, you'll be successful often. So having um, the air defense on the outside of the base means if they use the lightning spell on it, they're only taking out an exterior building and they're not going to neutralize any buildings deep in the base, which are the ones that are gonna do the most damage over time. So you put your expos in there. Um, you also have lots of storages around the base. And what that's going to do is it's going to make dragons get stuck on them. Now with Lalo, it also helps having things spread out sometimes. You want to make sure multi-infernos have a lot of defenses in their radius. So there's a lot of buildings the balloons have to stop at while they're being targeted by that multi-inferno before they actually get to it. So Lalo's a little more complicated, but by and large having these storages deep in your base will help to some extent with dragons, um, and they won't make you too weak against other attacks. As you can see, we have the CC nice and isolated to prevent it from being paired up with any other buildings and being taken out by lightning spell combination. Also, a lot of the um, value of this attack is also what the king and queen get and sometimes the royal champion if town hall 13 when they suey them at the beginning of the attack before starting the lalo or the dragons so you really want to limit that value the cc is the best way to limit the value of heroes on these types of attacks so if there's a, a part of the base say a tesla farm on the outside that's really easy for the king to take out you want to make sure it's protected by your clan castle and this is of course assuming they can't lightning down your clan castle, which if you're doing the base building correctly, um, they obviously can, but they're not gonna get anything else but your CC, which is the goal. Um, they probably won't make that trade, so now your clan castle and your CC troops, which um, you probably wanna use uh, a headhunter or two, maybe some archers. You could also have a lava hound in there if you have more capacity. Um, but whatever's in there, it can guard Tesla farms, it can also guard other areas, maybe even defensive heroes, where there's going to be good value for the king and queen at the beginning of the attack if it's not otherwise guarded by the clan castle. So use that to your advantage for sure. Um, that's a big part of these attacks. It's not just the the balloons or the dragons or the lava hounds and how those path, but the attack is sometimes won or lost before those are even dropped. Now, of course, um, be smart with your traps. If uh, you're worried about the lightning spell, don't put your seeking air mines next to your air defenses because there's a good chance they might get zapped down. So put them near other valuable buildings, uh, places where the lava hound might path and places where the dragons will definitely path. Um, also, when you're thinking about dragons, you don't wanna put um, your traps, whether they are your seeking air mines or your red bombs, don't put them in a place where the warden's ability is likely to be used because they'll get soaked up and they won't get any value as the troops are invincible for that period of time. So if there's a you know a, a bunch of high value buildings like a bunch of expos, maybe your town hall, um, maybe an inferno tower and some other buildings all grouped up together, don't necessarily put your traps there because they'll get soaked up with the warden's ability. Put them somewhere the attacker is not going to use the warden's ability if we're at town hall 11 and above of course. Town hall 10, you don't have to worry about that. I think that's all I have for you guys. Um, 
Once again, it's really important to keep these air defenses close to the outside of the base. As you can see in this example up here, this is what a good compartment might look like with the air defense up at the top um, of the compartment and then just regular buildings around it, not, not a big deal. If they're lightening it down, they're not getting any positional value. They're just getting the defense. Whereas if the air defense is deep in the base, like I said, they're also getting positional value on your base. So that's a big point to make, keep that in mind. Hope this video helped. Not that hard to defend against this lightning spell. Um, if you're interested in your own custom war base each month, as well as a ton of other perks, check out my Patreon. Um, info can be found using the link in the description. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Take it away, robot outro. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, ISECT, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.